Hi Tarot Tribe, it's Ethany and welcome to day 14 of the 31 days of tarot. And today's prompt is what cards confuse the heck out of you when it shows up and why do you think this is? Now I'm actually really interested to see how many of you pick court cards. <laughs> um, they used to give me a hard time but then I spent um, a lot of time connecting with them and, and building a really good relationship with them and I even created a masterclass course um, which I'll put the link below if you're interested in taking them but this is certainly not the reason why I mentioned it but a lot of people have trouble with the court cards which was the reason why I created the course in the first place um, so now I love when they show up because I've spent the time with them but today I'm going to talk about three archetypes that come up quite often and they've come up for me and they can they can be a bit confusing because they are like a huge entities um, and they seem to be a little bit more cut and dry. Um, yeah, so these are the three. So the first one is the Major Arcana card of Judgment. Now the Rider Waite Smith version of this is um, people being called out from the coffins, uh, laying down or the coffins or however you choose to view that, from a trumpet call. So this is very different. This is from the Thelema Tarot. Um, and there is that trumpet there, the, the burr, 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 trumpet, um, but there's not anyone else, it's just this, this angel. So I find these cards may not be super easy for beginners, but you know, you, I've always, like I've always said, go with what you like. Um, so judgment can be quite difficult because it's a thing, you know, like judgment is a huge part of like, a huge part of people are judgy <laughs> people are people are judgmental um it almost seems like it's a natural way of being almost now we judge people we judge each other we judge ourselves oh my god we're so hard on ourselves there's the judgment of the law there's a judgment of our peers um so it's a very it can be a very complex kind of thing when we talk about um such a large concept as judgment and then the next one goes pretty hand like pretty closely with this which is justice and justice and judgment you know are these do we talk about them as social constructs do we talk about them as cultural constructs and how justice and judgment um, can be swayed and bought and manipulated and it's you know in, in different tribes and different cultures it's completely different um, you know like tribal law and tribal judgment and justice and the way that we hand out justice and injustice and then we've got the universal laws um, so these are some big heavy like big things so I can see for myself why I mean when I especially when I started to learn tarot these cards were quite confusing because it's if these I don't think it's because it's confusing in the way that it tells you pretty much what it is. It's confusing in the way that it's such a big construct. It's such a big archetype. It's such a big part of um, of conscious energy of unconsciousness that it can be very hard to kind of reconcile and bring down to a a um, an understandable point of view. I mean, often this come, these cards can come up when there's law issues or there's a reading that has to do with um, a decision being made or contracts or deals or things like that. So in that way, they're a little bit easier. But in a higher way, they are big energies. And then the third one is temperance. And, uh, you know, I just think like, you know, balance and one foot in the water and one foot on the, the ground and another angelic. So these all have a very like angelic kind of feel to them don't they um well, certainly two of them definitely do um but then moving more from into a space of like the alchemy behind um temperance and that transformative uh space and and it is balance and it is about um and connecting to the elements and bringing some balance back into your life and recalibrating who you know your energy centers in your body and all that kind of stuff but it's also about mixing the waters and testing the waters put it dipping your toe in and about experimenting and so there's all these other things around um, temperance that is 
that is quite big and then it talks about temp temperament as well like an actual temperament of a person and being tempered and taking your time and being patient and reflecting before you react to something and not flying off the handle so I find that these three cards are very connected in that way um they're those big energies and because they're quite literal they can be a little bit hard sometimes to put into context so when I first started learning the tarot and a lot of people's you know a way of learning it is to have some keywords for each card so that you know when they come up you can at least recall the the key words um yeah it's a really you know it's a good way of, of doing it but sometimes it can be then hard to put into context so those are the ones that kind of gave me some some trouble um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what cards you all picked and thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you tomorrow